right, we got a little different video for you guys today. My son's buddy owned this. This thing's been sitting outside for about three years abandoned. Um, it's a, obviously it's a scooter, motor powered. I believe it's a 33 cc or um, 49 cc. It's been sitting for a while. You can already see it's missing a sprocket. The back tire's flat. Um, so we need a sprocket. He says he couldn't get it running at all. And first thing I see is this plunger's got a big hole in it, so it's got no gas pressure. It won't pump gas. About the only thing that does work on it is the kickstand. The handlebars are completely stiff and kind of janky. Does look like they put, these don't look original. They've got tape underneath there. It's probably the wrong size. But I mean, it's got new grips and throttle cable feels crunchy. So we'll have to deal with that. Um, carburetor's right underneath here. Got a zip tie holding the throttle cable on. Easy to say, carb's gotta come off. We gotta look at that. Clean it. Um, I actually got another float uh, plunger laying around. I bought a carb kit for my weed eater and I think that's going to fit. Um, I mean, it, it pulls over good. Sounds like it's got good compression. But this thing has been abandoned. It was sitting forever. His buddy was like, if you can get it running, you can have it. So this is going to be the abandoned scooter revival video. We'll see if we can get this thing running. I want to put a custom exhaust on the back and uh, we already have a sprocket on order. We've got a couple things we're going to do to it and uh, right now it does not run. We can't get it started. So this should be fun. Let's see if we can get this thing running. I know Maddox is super excited. He loves stuff like this and uh, he'll be super bummed if we can't get it. So. Let's give it a good shot. See if we can get these little, get this little motor running. Um, these things are, they can go either way. Either they run really good, or you never get them running good at all. So, I'm hopeful if we can get that carburetor working. It's a little two-stroke motor. So, if we get the carb clean, get that thing pumping gas. I mean, look at the gas tank. We did put a little bit of gas in it. <laughs> Sorry, my son found a tree frog. But I really think if we can get this carburetor cleaned up, get that bowl, as long as we can get gas into the motor, she's going to run. We'll get this fixed. We'll try to start it and see what happens. The abandoned scooter. This is going to be fun. I wonder how fast this thing goes. The motor looks somewhat clean. Maddox did kind of clean it up. But I told him, worst comes to worst. We've got a motor mounting pad. We can put another motor on this. So either way, we're gonna get this thing running. All right, we got it in the garage. No sense in trying to start it right now with this carburetor. We're going to take this off. Let's see if I got that plunger. Here's the carb kit I bought for my weed eater. And all I really needed was the gas lines. It, you could buy a whole carb, gas lines, spark plug and fuel filter for 15 bucks. Why not? Why just buy the lines? So I've got this laying around. I've got a plunger there. I also noticed we've got some fuel lines. Um, oh, check this out. They actually threw in two more plungers. So what are the odds of that, that we would get that? It'd be what we need for this. I checked it out. Um, these hole patterns, I don't think they line up. I think, well, this carb's obviously bigger. But once we get off, we'll look at it. Maybe this carb will work. Um, Worst case scenario though, we just pull that. Let's get that on there so the carb stops leaking. And uh, we'll try to start this thing. Let's see if we can get it running. We got the carb off and I'm already noticing the carb does not just leak from this rubber piece, but it leaks from right there. In the past, I've broke one of these screws off, um, putting this back on. So. Hopefully we're missing this screw and we can just replace it and it's not broke off in there. Um, but one thing we did notice is 
although the throttle cable is different, these holes are the same. So I don't know if we could make this carburetor work or not. I'm willing to bet we can. Worst case scenario, we'll do that. Right now, let's try to get this off and clean this carb and see what we got. All right, we played with the carburetor. We got a new dealy whopper on here. It's holding gas. It's pumping. We did have a broken bolt inside there, so we drilled it out. I threaded that in there. It might be leaking a little bit from that corner, but not bad. It's pumping gas now, so we've got that. Um, right now, we have to figure out how to hook up this cable. There's something missing right here at this hole. So we have to attach that right there so we can, come on, so we can pull the cable and that'll move back. So I might just go with the same zip tie method as it was working before. So we'll zip tie that to the hole just like so. And then get this car back on. And we're gonna try to start this thing see what it does i think it, sh it should run so we'll see so the carbs back on it uh, we repaired that broken bolt drilled it out put another one in we were able to suck because it's like three layers sucked it all tight it's not leaking per se yet i don't know how it's going to do when it's going to run um, so we've got that back together throttle cable is working if you can see right there um, We've got to get this muffler on. This thing was like hanging off. We found a couple, I don't know how it got full of water, but this was hanging off, no nuts. I think I found a pair that are gonna fit on these studs. Um, let's see, that goes on. Heat, get in there. They're like that. Um, I don't know where those nuts went oh right here I found a pair of two little ones in my drawer that thread on there so I may have to use washers I'm not sure but we've got that so we're gonna get that on and then we're gonna see if we can get this thing started we can't do anything until this sprocket comes in the mail we've got our front sprocket here like so and then we need to be able to get that on there I don't know why the sprockets missing or what happened there Chain adjusters are still here though, so I, I do see those. That's nice, we've got adjustments. And then this must just be the clutch in here. Who knows if that works. So we don't wanna put a bunch of money in this thing until we know what works and what doesn't. So let's get the muffler on here, get this thing outside and see if we can get it started. I'm hoping, oh there like so yeah there's got to be something wrong with this thing if it was abandoned you know what I mean it's got to be yes. that one goes on I think these are actually muffler bolts off something else I think chainsaw honestly I kept them because I took that chainsaw part. Seems to be working though. All right. Let's take this thing out front and see if we can get started. Baby, start. Did you climb it? Prime it, yeah. The primer's working now. We've got gas flowing up through the line. Change the gas tank. Got something to it. All right, let's try it with some starting fluid. All right. You got it. Yeah. Let's take this chain off the sprocket, but two yeah. and four starts. So. We're gonna shoot some carb clean in this thing. 
see if we can get it running. You get to see it run as like if it starts, you get to see it run. Same time we do. So in the name of chopping things, because I love it, and you know how I love custom exhaust, we took and rerouted it, kind of make it look like this. I think it just makes it look cooler, gives it a better look. Um, we just need to tack it together. So basically I took a little piece here, we'll weld it to the muffler, we'll weld this here, and it'll bolt there, you know, and the exhaust will look way more cool than just this little box. So now what I need to do is get inside this box, gut it, so that, you know, this will actually resonate sound. Otherwise, it's just a dual muffler, muffler and a muffler, um, which the guts have been taken out of this one because, well, it was on one of our dirt bikes and we like everything loud. So we are going to do that there. Well, basically, we took the stand off of <laughs> a halogen light, we cut it up, we cut that off the actual muffler, we cut this off the actual stand, which is what gave us our perfect loop, um, and before you say it's not thick enough, yes it is. It's just as thick, if not thicker, than the original. Um, it's big enough to where I have adjustment. I can get the angle I want, you know, like so. It's gonna make it look cool. I even thought about trying to build a little expansion chamber here where it gets bigger for the two stroke in it all and see what that does. But I can't really come up with anything that um, I can get a good expansion chamber, like something four inches round. We thought about using a can. We thought about using this as an expansion chamber and then running pipe out of it but I feel like that would be a whole bunch of work and uh, we're just trying to keep ourselves busy until we get parts in the mail they're coming soon so stay tuned and uh, we'll show you what we come up with so Maddox cut it open we're pulling the guts out because <laughs> we're gonna do the right thing <laughs> this kid's got my blood in him so Make it loud and proud. Don't cut yourself, because I've cut myself a million times. So we did have some packing in there, um, some honeycombs and all that. We're in the process of peeling all that out of there. And we'll fold that tab back down, we'll weld her up. And bada boom, bada bing, dang, is that 57 Chevy? Yeah, I saw that. Nice. Was hey, it the red one? Let's see the inside of there real quick. Can you see in there? Here, face it towards I the barely. Outside. All right, we got. There's our outlet. We took all. Oh the yeah, stuff you can see it's through it now. <laughs> yeah. So we just gotta clean all that up out of there. Anything that makes you know anything that works a sound at me. We want this thing to sound like a two-stroke. Gotta get those ping pings. When she's pinging, then she's running right.
check out that pipe. That just changes things. I don't care who you are. So let's try starting it with no starting fluid. See what it does. All right. Now check this out. In the comments please please someone help me I suck with small engines I have problems with every small engine I work on I don't know the carbs get me every time but why would this thing start and run perfectly with starting fluid but never start itself without starting fluid on just gas no matter how many times you prime this it won't start without starting fluid but you put a half a squirt in it starts up and it runs fine and it'll run as long as you want it to even when it's warm, it wants starting fluid. We've played with it. I've, I don't know. I've lost my mind on it. Um, all the cards I saw on Amazon, none of them have this throttle set up on top. It doesn't match. So I don't want to just buy a card that's not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to get a throttle cable in, you know. But what can I do inside that carburetor that will make it start without starting fluid? Because it runs good. It runs great. But it will not start without starting fluid. <laughs> so there's that. I like the pipe. All we can do now is wait on parts. And uh, Maddox is psyched. Mm -hmm. I had a couple bring their scooters over to me for repair. Basically, I put new batteries in this one and new controller. They already picked up their other one. That one's working great. We're still waiting on the controller in the mail. And these things haul. Well, the kids saw those ones and Maddox is like I know somebody that has a scooter so he talked to his buddy next thing you know here we are went from sitting outside in freaking bushes to you know it's running once we get a sprocket on here we'll know more hopefully this whole transmission clutch thing works but I think they just couldn't get it running and they gave up on it it just sat but we'll get this tube on here, we'll get that sprocket on, get that chain on, and then uh, we'll see where we're at. And let me know in the comments, would you prefer an electric scooter or a gas scooter? I'll be honest, this thing goes pretty fast and it's torquey, and it, it gets up and goes, and it's pretty much the same rear end as the gas one. The only thing different is the electric motor. But I believe you could put this tire on that gas one which we thought about doing, but this isn't ours. I'm fixing it for somebody. We might as well just wait until our parts come in the mail. I know my son is antsy and he wants to ride that thing. So uh, hopefully in a day or two we get our parts and we can shoot another video. That being said, we're gonna end the video right here. If you like the video, drop a like. Um, hopefully we get this abandoned scooter running great going down the road we still have issues with the carburetor it starts on starting fluid great and will run but once it shuts off you have to put starting fluid back in it to get it to run so if you know anything about these small carburetors please teach me something let me know what you think about the custom exhaust come back see what we do to this thing if you like videos like this give us a like maybe think about subscribing and uh, definitely come back to see us riding this down the road my son is very excited about getting this thing going and uh, having fun on it. I can't believe this thing's been laying in the weeds, abandoned for well over two years. We got it started within the first half hour. It's missing a couple parts, but for what we got into it, completely worth it. On that note, we're out of here. Thank you for watching. Peace.